हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू अवर यूट्यूब चैनल आर एफ डिजाइन बेसिक्स सो इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू फाइंड आउट द वैल्यू ऑफ के व्हिच इज गेन फॉर ए गिवन ओपन लूप ट्रांसफर फंक्शन वेयर देयर इज फिक्स्ड गेन मार्जिन और फिक्स्ड फेज मार्जिन फॉर एग्जांपल इन दिस केस द फर्स्ट वन वी नीड टू नो व्हाट इज द वैल्यू ऑफ के for given gain margin of 15 db and second one what will be the value of k if given phase margin is 60 degree as you know that gain margin is given in terms of db and phase margin is in terms of angle so to find out this we can use bode plot and without bode plot also we can do it i'll be taking without bode plot method just by doing manual calculation and we will be finding out what will be the value of k so first we are going to assume the value of k assume k equal to 1 and if i take k equal to 1 and find out gain margin and if the gain margin is more than 15 db that means the k value will be more than 1 and for the first case we want to know what is the magnitude of this so magnitude we can write as numerator is k magnitude of j omega is omega multiplied by magnitude of this is j 1 plus 0.1 omega square then magnitude of another complex number which is 1 plus omega square so this i am going to fit in the calculator so to find out the gain crossover frequency we are going to take the magnitude in db so 20 log and then this formula so 1 divided by alpha a multiplied by under root 1 plus 0.1 a square then again under root 1 plus a square bracket close so this will give you value in db calc 0.1 this is 19.9 db roughly 20 db next we will take calculate 1 so at 1 the value is minus 3 that means it is going in negative so our gain crossover frequency is less than 1 it is between 0 to 1 only so i can take less than 1 as 0.8 or 0.9 and see if it is negative still it is negative so it is less than that so calculate 0.75 this is positive that was negative so gain is in between 0.75 and 0.8 so i'll just take 0.78 and find out yeah it's coming approximately 0 db so i will lock this frequency 0 what is the frequency frequency 0.78 radian per second now we will find out what is phase crossover frequency for phase crossover frequency we are going to write the phase of this function so it will be in numerator we have constant so constant phase is 0 then all negative three phase will be negative this first one second one and third one so phase of this j omega is 90 degree minus phase of this complex number is 10 inverse 0.1 by 1 so we can write 10 inverse 0.1 a then minus 10 inverse 1 plus j omega means omega by 1 so that will become omega only so i can write a now calculate the value for 
different frequency and try to find out minus 180 degree that will be the phase crossover frequency so I start with 0 0.1 it's minus 96 so I can go little bit high value this is minus 140 directly I'll go for 5 and see if it is going beyond yeah it is going beyond so we have to come back 4 minus 187 then I'll take 3 3 is giving me minus 178 so it is little bit more than 3 so 3.1 Minus 179 and if I take 3.2 it is roughly minus 180 so I lock this frequency for the phase crossover frequency 3.2 radian per second now the gain margin will be calculated at this frequency so we have the formula for gain in this calculator so I'll be writing gain margin as gain margin if k equal to 1 at which frequency we are going to calculate this frequency so gain margin will be always calculated at phase crossover frequency so 3.2 radian per second so gain margin will be 0 minus whatever is the value of this function at 3.2 so calculate 3.2 this is giving me minus 21 that means the gain margin is 21 dB in question the gain margin required is 15 dB that means we have to increase the value of k but how many times we, we can increase so the we can take anti log of this and we can find out the k value as this formula can be used anti log means 10 to the power required value is 15 dv and then obtained value is 21 21 minus 15 divided by 20 this formula will give you direct value of k so if i calculate this it is 10 to the power 6 by 20 6 by 20 which is 10 to the power 0 0.3 this is approximately 2 so k is equal to 2 so we have solved the first part so for having gain margin of 15 dB we have to have k equal to 2 now the second part is totally different question where the requirement of phase margin is that 60 degree and k value we have to find out so in the second part first of all we are going to find out what is the phase margin at k equal to 1 at k equal to 1 what is the phase margin so we have the gain crossover frequency 0.78 so we can calculate the phase margin as the calculation will be done at gain crossover frequency that is 0.78 radian per second right now so the phase margin will be calculate the value at 0 0.78 radian per second so this is minus 132 so phase margin is 180 minus 132 Point 0.4 so it is 47.6 degree means uh, phase margin is less and we have to increase the phase margin to increase the phase margin we need to reduce the value of k and how we are going to exactly do that to have 60 degree phase margin we are going to find out this gain crossover frequency so to have 60 degree in the sense this is 60 degree okay at gain crossover frequency this will be new gain crossover frequency i will denote this as omega dash 
should be equal to 180 minus this is the angle phase of the system so what is phase here phase requirement is 180 minus 60 so basically we can say 180 plus this phase no plus so here we can write 180 plus this phase so phase will be minus 120 degree so rather having minus 132.4 we need to have phase of minus 120 degree so let us find out at which frequency we are getting this as minus 120 degree that will be the new gain crossover frequency so we'll put calculate to find out minus 120 degree i will start from again 1 and see the value it is minus 140 means we have to go even less than that so calculate 0 0.5 it is minus 119 which is approximately this but still we can increase a little bit calculate 0 0.6 so it is going very far from there so we can just increase a little bit calculate 0.51 still it is minus 119.9 approximated to minus 120 but we can go to one more values yeah minus 120 so i think we can take previous value that is 0 0.51 where i can get roughly minus 120 degree so the new gain crossover frequency to have 60 degree phase margin is 0 0.51 radian per second now since this is a gain crossover frequency so if i calculate the gain at this frequency i can see where exactly it is crossing so calculate the gain at this frequency 0 0.51 and we can get gain as 4.83 so at this frequency gain is 4.83 dv that means the gain is positive and we want to have 0 dv at this point because you know that what is gain crossover frequency gain crossover frequency is the frequency at which the gain should be 0 dv but it is 4.83 dv so to make 0 dv how much we need to add we need to add minus 4.83 dv in this to make it 0 so this additional addition can only be achieved by reducing the value of k from 1 if you increase then this dv will increase so dv will be positive so that means k value is less than 1 and that value is k will be in this case 10 to the power from where we are in uh, reducing 1 so 1 as 1 is 0 db so 0 db minus 4.83 divided by 20 so it's 10 to the power minus 4.83 divided by 20 we can put this value 10 to the power minus 4.83 divided by 20 and this is roughly 0 0.573 so the k is 0 0.573 for the second case so we can write here what is the value of k k is equal to 2 for the first case and k equal to 0 0.57 for the second case so this is how we can use calculator without even using Bode plot graph to find out the value of k thank you